Honda has unveiled the 2025 CRV EFCV, a hydrogen powered electric vehicle jointly developed by Honda and General Motors. It's America's first production plug in hydrogen fuel cell SUV, with an impressive range of over 434 kilometers EPA on a full tank of hydrogen, plus an additional 47 kilometers of battery powered EV range. The CRV EFC EV will be available for customer leasing in California by the end of this year. Production will take place at Honda's Performance Manufacturing Center in Marysville, Ohio. The exterior design of the Honda CRV EFC EV stands out with new body panels forward of the A pillar. Unique designs for the lift gate, rear fascia, and large 18 inch, 10 spoke black wheels. This is highlighted by an exclusive low upright grille design and a long hood for an aggressively sleek look. Its signature vertical taillights make this zero emissions variant instantly recognizable as a CRV from the rear. Inside the cabin, the dashboard spawns a striking metal honeycomb mesh, which neatly conceals the air con vents. Available in a single fully loaded touring variant, the fuel cell powered CRV comes equipped with features such as a nine inch touchscreen central infotainment system, a 10.2 inch digital instrument console, wireless Apple CarPlay, and Android auto connectivity, wireless phone charging, etc. Other amenities include a 12 speaker Bose premium audio system, power adjustable, heated front seats, heated steering wheel, dual zone climate control, powered tailgate, parking sensors, and sustainable materials, including bio-based leather seat upholstery. Backed by Honda's second generation fuel cell technology, the CRV EFC EV is powered by a 17.7 kWh battery accompanied by a front-mounted single motor producing 174 bhp and 310 nanometers of torque. The fuel cell model has a power output of 92.2 kilowatts. There are four drive modes on offer, namely normal, eco, sport, and snow. Besides a completely different powertrain, the CRV EFC gets slightly updated hardware. For instance, rear lateral rigidity is increased by 10%. Rear torsional rigidity has improved by 9%, and its McPherson strut front suspension and multi-link rear suspension have been completely retuned with specific springs, amplitude-sensitive dampers, and stabilizer bars front and rear to optimize responsiveness while maintaining a smooth ride. There's no official price for the 2025 Honda CR-V EFCV just yet, and it's most likely going to be available through leasing options. Since California is the only state with infrastructure to support hydrogen cars, other than Hawaii, you'll have to inquire there with regard to cost, potential benefits, rebates, and tax credits. Buyers do get HOV lane access at least. Honda does make time to mention that the hydrogen technology has been developed in conjunction with General Motors in an attempt to reduce costs for the production of the fuel cell system. Hopefully, this translates to reasonable pricing to help popularize fuel cell technology. As far as competition goes, there's only the Hyundai Nexo fuel cell to compare it to. That car starts at over $1.60K and comes with as much as 380 miles of driving range on hydrogen. It doesn't offer the electric benefits that the CRV EFCV does. The only other comparisons we can draw for the 2025 CRV are rivals to the regular and hybrid CRV, which include the Toyota RAV4 and Hyundai Tucson, both of which are available with hybrid powertrains. Dimensions for the new Honda CR-V EFCV crossover include a length of 187.6 inches over a 106.3 inch wheelbase. The CUV stands 66.6 inches in height and measures 73.4 inches in width. The EFCV is a little longer than the regular and hybrid CRVs, most probably due to the changes in front and rear aesthetics. As with some other specs, curb weight for the CR-V hasn't been shared just yet. It'll likely be heavier than the regular CRV by some margin, however, possibly surpassing the 4,000 pound mark. Regular CRVs weigh upwards of 3,472 pounds, with hybrid models topping out at 3,926 pounds. The point of the new CRV is efficiency, and what makes this version different to any other fuel cell or plug in hybrid is the combination of the two types of tech. A traditional hydrogen fuel cell is used alongside a plug in hybrid system, meaning that if you can't top up with hydrogen, you can rely on as much as 29 miles of electric range. Running out of electricity requires plugging in to recharge the 17.7 kW battery, although refueling with hydrogen promises to be the fastest. Using both types of tech results in a range of 270 miles 
and efficiency stats come in at 61 by 52 by 57 MPG City Highway, combined according to Honda. This fuel cell module is the brand's second generation technology with improved durability, higher efficiency, and lower cost. And as a bonus, the CRV can also supply power. It comes with a 110 volt outlet that can deliver up to 1,500 watts of power for camping gear, power tools, or portable appliances. So that's all for today's video. I hope you liked the video and found it informative. If you did, make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more car content. And I see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.